as usual I have a lot of option to choose from for our zip and yeah I intend to sew in zip before attaching our base for our back it would be easier to sew in it here and then sew in base rather than otherwise yeah that's why let's start with zip sewing what we need to do to start sewing actually we need a needle and thread um just cut some amount of thread maybe half a meter would be enough um then take two ends and put in the same back side of the hole oh to the needle here here and now on one of the end of our thread i have two ends and here i have a loop i make a little smaller and with two um ends and longer where it's our loop and then i put my needle in the like point where i just finish but just through zip without attaching to the bag then at the same time without attaching to the bag i just returning with a little small step could you see a little small one i left this loop here just hold it for a moment and at this point put my needle inside this loop and take a thread through and now we have attached or start our sewing and after that I will put at the same loop or just a little bit further a little bit and then start sewing so because we have attached and we done our beginning um now I can start doing our attaching to the back and here it is it's how we will sew further the middle of the process showing a little bit closer so um put our needle here identify that we have like one stitch and in one stitch we intend to put if you can see um two seven stitches i have already put one seven stitch here i intend to put the second one like this done then i return in my needle from this side not from this from this side back putting in the same hole from the previous stitch so now to seven stitches on this loop is done then we continue with the next one we do a small like step by step each turn so i made a small step here i take the loop from our crocheting part then putting Middle and this side. Oh. One is done, then small step attaching to the same loop.
and then continue at this weight it this way all the way way you need to do way you need to sew the zip just couple words what we will do when uh, we reach near the end of our thread how to hide it uh, actually let's do couple like more stitches and then I will show how to hide it um, so one more and after that uh, just making a couple like playing around with needle and yarn trying to make a couple knots maybe and here it is it's just taking like returning to the loops we previously done and just going one by one and trying to hide our thread there just making one more and after this it's possible to cut the yarn sorry not the yarn the thread Now it's hidden. We have sew our zip to back. It looks like this from this side. Actually, I have shown how to start doing this sewing, how to finish in the middle of the process. So now you see the pattern, and pattern it's like a little triangle which go here and there on both sides. It's a little bit tricky to crochet it uh, when we are here because uh, all back is too close to each other and it's much difficult you will understand what I mean when you will do this and this part is more easier that's why I recommend start from um, like one side and attach all of it and then doing another side but starting from this side where zip is closed instead of here because it's a difficult one part and now I can explain why if I open zip from another side just a second um, you see you can put it a little bit further down and serving as you want when here you can't do this how it look like a little bit upper actually this is our zip it's open and close yeah done <laughs> back is done but now it's just two sides and when you do your serving you probably can see that even now i can't put this side a little further down and i'm like i've pushed to put it as close as possible and when i sew it it was like this you probably will do the same here here are the result of serving sorry of serving zip actually you see the like i put zip not straight like here up but a little down just to hide it but still the color a little bit different from the rest of our bag but it's the base like the best color selection i can imagine for now use stitch marker to attach your base to the side part of the bag uh, just to ensure like you have um enough crochet and everything look right and after you make all the way through like attachment all through all back and you are happy with how it will look like or uh, your base attaching to the si side of the back then we can start sewing actually our all of these parts and yeah it's good practice to um like 
I'll put a stitch marker closer. It will help you then to understand is this the right uh, like distance between them and uh, is it nice to look as a result and so on. So that's why I prefer do it first and then check how everything will look. It's how my have seven look like. Uh, I decide to don't use needle. I use hook to do this, but I have started from this side and I use needle to attach like uh, the thread here and then start using my hook to do this kind of crocheting and I do all the way through here to this side. Then I did like inside as well the same pattern inside all, all the way through there and then I go here and right now I intend to show you how to do the like example of it. I also want to mention the um, if you can notice this side a little bit rounded and how to do this I also will explain it and all the way through I use stitch marker just to understand that I'm on the right point and here we are to look a little close to all of this um, here where I put my stitch marker it's the exact side where I have start on this part doing my like um, to explain this is the last row and i use a stitch marker to identify where on the like other side i start to the last row and to make the same like symmetrical back so how i'm doing my crocheting here There are just couple stitches left before stitch marker. I took this yarn out and Because there are too much like stitches left and here there are just a couple, I intend to take the loops a little further than here to make it start at the same place as we did for another other side. And this one, it would be that where we will begin. Uh, this end, our ends we could put inside for now, don't, don't like worry about them. To make rounded like kind of this bag, um, what we will do, we will put like take one loop here, like we intend to take at this side like loops um, how to say more frequently than here or these loops would be more close than on this part and how it will look like because it's our last row here the normal loops and it's easy to like identify 
but also don't worry about this because we will use so, um, like we will st still serving um, from the inside and here I use the closest loop and this one loop you can see like here all the loops where we can put our hook it's really nice and clear and here I do it a little bit like close like instead of making like this loop this loop this loop this loop I will take this 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 and like at this point it would be three not two at this it would be six nine and so on so on instead of making two loops at the same like all ends I would do three loops instead it will make the back look more rounded is the way how we do our seven of all our parts actually it makes sense when you did like one side to identify like on another side how it will look like and actually the also interesting point i would like to mention because at this side you see here it's like our normal loops and in this side it's more like mm, how to say stitches here stitches and here loops and uh, just to make symmetrical uh, don't forget to make loops here and stitches here as well and here it's our seven i mentioned all key points i guess there are nothing to it just just seven seven is done it's how back look inside and it's how we attach this ring for handle. 